Hello, I have made software. It's called Typiskt. It's available, as you can see, on GitHub. Bud Labs slash Typiskt. Typiskt, touch type training for dirt hackers. Installation, if you use Arch Linux, you can get Typiskt from AUR, like this. Or, if you're not using Arch Linux, you can just clone this repository, like this. Copy this, open a terminal. Create a stupid directory somewhere, uh, maybe temp stupid somewhere, whatever. And then we do a git clone, then you just paste the stuff that you got uh, from here. And then it will clone that directory or this repository into this uh, new directory here. There we can see it. And I can open that. And it is recommended that you install this with a make file uh, with sudo make install, but it should work to just execute this executable file here, tpisk, which is a bash script. Um, so if we do this, it should start this program. And it does. Here it is. It's a touch typing program. Well, now I forgot to, to show you that. Because the first time you execute this program, it will create this directory here in .config, in your home directory, called typist. Uh, so let's do this, just to show you. The first time you start, or if this directory doesn't exist, it will create that uh, config directory there for you. And that uh, it will do this both if you install it with the make file or if you run it like this, it will create this uh, 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 configuration directory. Um, and it's a touch typing program. You just uh, write what's on, on the screen, you know, super fun. It's very uh, fun. And if you launch it as we did now without any command line arguments or anything it will start in this default mode and that mode i call that words uh, and here you can see a little overview of the different modes we got words we got book we got source and we got exercise and in this default mode words uh, it will print random words from a word list uh, there's more info here in the readme about each mode here but it will print a random word taken from a word list um, and print them in random order like this um, you can use difficulty this is uh, an option that you can also specify on the command line like uh, difficulty and then a number between 1 0 and 10 and 10 is the most difficult now you can see there are some special characters inserted in the text and some words will be all caps and stuff to, to make it more difficult and more challenging for you, if you would like that. But that is only available here in the words and the book mode. Uh, there's also a timer, as you can see here, it's one minute by default, uh, but this can be changed also with a command line option time if we want 10 seconds, then we can do that. Now it's uh, this test will only last for 10 seconds seconds um, yeah i just want to finish there and when you finish a test you will see uh at least in words and book you will get this screen here listing the your high scores here on the left side if you got any uh, this is the stats for the current test 68.4 words per minute 93 percent accuracy we also get this information here that tests under 60 seconds are not added to the scoreboard. So this test will never uh, will not get uh, registered to the high score list. You have to make a test uh, uh, that is at least 60 seconds long. And this is because otherwise it would be too easy to cheat. You know, you could you you could do a test for two seconds and get like thousand VPMs or something. You know, it, it's it it gets weird. I had to had to set a limit. I, I think, whatever. Um. So that's high score. Book mode. Uh, in book mode, you can pass any text file. I uh, haven't really prepared this. Let's see what we got here. We got the, we can take the license here, for example. So, typist. Um, 
and then we use book here and you change mode by some more command line options book here is the book mode command line option so book and then you give it a, a text file for example this license file now it will um, print um, the words in that license file now you can see it also added a difficulty here so we got some special characters that uh, maybe it just uh, makes everything confusing here. So let's remove the difficulty There and now we can see this is from the license and now we can see also that it's not in random order It's in the same order as um, yeah the file and It also remembers where uh, you end each test here There okay, not that uh, amazing score uh, if I press escape, it will start, it will restart uh, the test. So, or start a new test if you are at the, this screen, the high score screen. Well, now it doesn't seem to have worked. Or did it? Yeah, there is a bookmark function in this book, book mode. So pay attention here. This is the last word now. All is the last word we typed. Uh, I think uh, when we restart the test, it will start here at this word, uh, Budridge. And you can also see here, this is uh, maybe an interesting little detail, that even if the timer has run out here, the test has stopped here, because it uh, there is no, uh, like, the event loop of the program. This is kind of under the hood internal things. Uh, it actually only updates w uh, when you press a key. So... Um, Let's restart again now, just see that it worked. Well, now it started at all. So there is some kind of bookmark function here. But look at this when I'm typing here. I press A. You see how the timer, it, it updates. But now I haven't pressed the key here for a couple of seconds. And when I press space here now, you see, it doesn't really uh, tick uh, automatically. Uh, it only uh, only updates when you actually type, but this should never be a problem, you know, because I don't think anyone types that slow, like uh, less than one keystroke a second. That's uh, extremely slow. And if you type that slow, then this program is really good for you because you need to, to speed up. Uh, so if you have so, some... some um, uh, Kind of normal typing speed this should never uh, be an issue but it can be a bit annoying if you for some re reason i have done this a couple of times stopped at the word like this and then like what's going on but don't worry it doesn't affect uh, the, the words per minute if you would stay on a word for like one minute it will yeah it works fine so escape you can always press escape to restart uh, we can even do this mid test here we don't have to wait for the uh, high score screen i can press escape now and restarts the test immediately and this also works uh, in in the default mode here with random words and now every time we press escape we get a new random list of words see nice then we got source source is not random you cannot uh, add difficulty source is also not timed so in this mode you have to type the full the whole text uh, uh, is the whole test so to speak uh, but source will uh, respect line breaks it's the only mode that does that and what that means is uh, i guess we shouldn't take the license file here because it's so long line breaks in it uh, maybe yeah, we can test with with the script itself here actually source typist let's see how it looks uh, here this is the, uh, the the actual script you know if i open it here in the text editor it will be more clear what's going on uh, let's see let's see uh, there it is here is the tech uh, the file we are uh, testing now uh, and as you can see, this is the first line, but the blank lines are ignored and intendations like leading white space like this is also ignored. So uh, if we go down here a bit, we can see that uh, I'm just pressing space here now. 
And now we have main and now source here. It's not indented because that would just get weird if you have really long indentations. You know, it, it would get really difficult to know how many tabs to, to type and stuff. And some people would get angry because they don't like tabs. They want spaces. Um, uh, I think the important thing is uh, that it respects uh, line breaks like it does here. So, and, and uh, th this mode is for practicing typing source code. And it will store uh, the fastest uh, words per minute for, for every file. But as you can see, there's no time limit. You have to type the whole script here. And we don't want to type that now in this video because it's about a thousand lines long here. So that would take quite some time. But it's, um, it's, it's, it's a nice little mode if you want to practice source code and just, uh, but I would suggest uh, create small snippets, like maybe a for loop in a single file and use that as a, test or write. Uh, then we have exercise mode. Uh, the argument to exercise must be the name of a subdirectory in tpisk config dir exercises. And this is the tpisk config dir in dot config in your home directory. There is a, a directory there called exercises, but it doesn't contain any subdirectories. It only contains this script and a readme. We can also see it's the same same stuff as we got here. Uh, when TPC is executed with exercise org option, it will look in this directory for a subdirectory. This is the same readme as we got here, uh, with the same name as org. TPSC doesn't come with any exercises, but executing the script add gtypist exercises.sh will download and convert the default English exercises from this repository. I don't know, maybe this is, uh, was overkill for, for uh, here, but I, uh, I didn't want to add these uh, exercises because they are covered by the GNU uh, license, of course. They are from G-Typist, uh, but I think this is, it, it's okay to do this. So if we open this um, config to pisked exercises. And there, if we execute this add gtypist uh, script here, which we can look at how it looks, you should, of course, uh, review the script before you execute it. But it will download uh, a file here uh, from GitHub and then it will extract uh, exercises from it. So you can see it does a lot of weird stuff there, but Soon it takes a while because there was, there's a lot of files and that's another reason I just don't, didn't want to add it. You know, it's it's uh, like thousands of exercise files here. But now we got a bunch of exercises and when we do, we can. Um, well, let's do this. Let's go back and then we do exercise and then we can just uh, take one one letter here, for example M. There, it opens exercise M1 of 62, because M contains here 62 different files. Uh, and in this mode, uh, there is a limit. Uh, so, so you have to uh, finish each uh, exercise, which shouldn't... The, the exercises are normally, at, at least these ones, aren't that long. But you have to have a specific uh, accuracy. You cannot make too many errors. One hundred percent accuracy, sixty-one uh, words per minute. Press escape for the next exercise. So when I press escape here now, it will go to the next exercise here. Two, and that is probably this one. And you can change exercise with uh, the arrow keys. So I press left. Now I'm back here, and then I can also see the, the, the high score for that ex exercise there. And I can go right to to go to the next one, but I cannot skip exercises that I haven't uh, completed yet. So if I press right here, it will say no cheating, and it just doesn't do anything. Okay, that's how exercise mode works. And exer these exercises, they are just uh, word lists as well here. Uh, a single file with, with a bunch of words, one word per line. 
yeah, that is the script I have done here. Uh, whoops, uh, we don't have to play any Minecraft uh, when we got fun games like Typisked. So, recommended installation process. If you are on Arch, you can use AUR. It will like pull this uh, repository and execute the make file. Uh, otherwise, clone this repo and do a sudo make install. That should install uh, this. And then you also got the man, man page for tpisk. If you do man tpisk, then you can read the man page here, which contains more or less the same information as this readme file here. Uh, let's see if we missed anything uh, any interesting. Yeah, you can also, there are uh, to the default mode, tpisk, where we just get random words here. And we have also not looked into the uh, configuration file. You can either, in the config, you can set some, some uh, configurations here. For example, the default word list, which is now set to English Advanced. Uh, let's hope this works now. I just updated this. Uh, so, yeah, there. Uh, so, typisk, and then list. It will list out all available word lists here. Uh, and as you can see, there are lots of different languages. Uh, I borrowed these word lists from, uh, uh, let's see, RR's uh, 10FF program here. So it's the same word list uh, as is provided from, from this repository, repository. But they were kind enough to add, use the WTFPL license. So. Yeah, I copied those word lists. Um, and I was thinking about this, you know, uh, or whatever. Let's, let's not talk about that in this video. But, you know, licenses are weird. But if we want to do, we could uh, execute uh, two pieces with a corpus. And then we can select Greek here, for instance. And then I get a Greek test. But uh, I... I don't know Greek that well, and I cannot really type it at all on this uh, current keyboard with this layout. So let's not try. But you could could select a different language or a different type of word list here with corpus. But you can also set it uh, uh, in this config file. The, the command line option will have uh, priority over the, the config file. You can also change the colors here. Uh, so here you can see uh, color active. The, uh, and this uses color 0 to 15. You know, there are 16 different colors. Uh, and normally one is red. Here is the error, correct. Two, green, active, three, yellow. If we change this to, for example, four, I think we will get a blue uh, active color here. And then it looks like, yeah, let's skip the Greek. And now you can see it's it's blue here instead of yellow. Um, we can test some some other maybe. What is this? Magenta, uh, cyan. And you see you can change uh, colors of, of of how how the active word is represented. Right now it only works for foreground colors, and you can only use these uh, fifteen uh, numbers here. Or it will actually uh, actually use it will redirect these uh, numbers into teapot and. Uh, generate an escape code from that. So anything you could use here with tpot set af uh, will be used. So yeah, whatever. Max width, that's the width of the test. Uh, the default is 50. As you can see, it doesn't span across the whole terminal here. I um, don't remember if I added so you can set zero and make it span across the whole terminal. But if, we, if you would do 250 here, which are wider than the terminal and the, and the number here is the number of columns the number of characters uh, on a single line uh, since this is higher than the number of characters here uh, it will take the the width of the terminal minus two will be the uh, mean width here so now we can see we got uh, much longer lines and you can of course uh, make it like small 25 now we get a small little comfy test if that's what you like but it also automatically sets the width to uh, to the size of the terminal in case the terminal cannot fit the test you know so if you would do something like this it would automatically just know 
but now it have 25 years so old. Yeah, whatever. Uh, cash deed. Uh, we haven't talked about this, but this is where it stores the high score file and bookmarks and stuff. It stores that in, in this directory. And you can change location here in the config file. You can also change this by setting this command uh, environment variable. High score time format. That is, uh, uh, that is uh, yeah, the time format for, for, for the high score. This now it's uh, it's like European standard here with a year, month, day. If you wanted to, you could change this time format. It's uh, it uses uh, date in the background to to display this or to generate the the table here. Um, exercise and and this is uh, in exercise mode. The minimum accuracy you have to achieve to proceed to the next uh, level. And you can also set a minimum words per minute. The default is zero words per minute, but uh, quite high minimum accuracy. But you can just uh, change these uh, settings here in the config file uh, to to change that behavior. And word mask here uh, that contains the the. It uses these this uh, these masks when you are using difficulty. And it will replace some words. Uh, the W in some of these lines will be replaced with uh, some random words in the test. And you could create your own uh, masks here if you would like to. Just be sure to use capital W uh, somewhere on the line. Yeah, that is typisk. Um, I am already five releases in here. I, I think I released the first version two days ago. Uh, and I've gotten some great uh, responses and help from, from especially the Arch uh, Linux community have found it just uh, yeah from, from the AUR RSS feed. Uh, and uh, yeah, I got a lot, lots of both good uh, uh, responses on, on the program itself, but also uh, some guidance uh, on how to make the AUR package and the make file cleaner and leaner. So yeah, that's, that's uh, typisk for you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.